know, I hope I've reached the right number. This is Dr. Jenkins. Uh, give the office a call and talk to Jennifer, if you would. Um, the CEA has increased to 17. So we need some staging studies. We need a CT. Jennifer will schedule that for you. And don't, um, don't have your port removed quite yet by Dr. Steinus. If you have any questions, you can call me back. Bye now. All right, so I received that call June 6, 2019. Um, today is June 15th. Um, so, as some of you know, um, I was diagnosed with cancer in uh, 2017, uh, stage 3 colon cancer. Um, I had a surgery done in November to uh, remove the tumor, and then I did six months of chemotherapy after that. So I've been cancer-free for almost a year actually. So they have this thing called a tumor marker and they base it from a zero to a five. So anything in between is considered normal. For the whole year mine has been around a two. Uh, the reason he gave me that call like he said was that my tumor marker rose to a 17 which is not good. So Thursday of last week I went to get a CT scan done and they found a tumor in my liver. So from what my doctor says, this is stage three reoccurring cancer. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because the, the first time I didn't film anything. What I'm doing differently this time is I'm going to document this whole journey. Yeah, I was planning, uh, this kind of messed up a few plans for me. I was planning on moving up to Chicago in August, but it looks like I'm going to be here in Texas for at least another nine months while you know, I'm fighting and recovering from this. I'm starting this so I can bring people on this journey with me. And one of the first things that I did when I received this news is that I went on YouTube. Uh, I started searching for people who are in the same situation that I'm in because I have no one really to relate to. A lot of this doesn't feel real yet, but I think that's part of the process. I think part of the process is understanding really what's going on. I could lock myself up in my room and pretend like everything's okay or I can accept this for what it is and and fight through it. What I'm going to keep you guys updated with is my weight and how I'm feeling or how much pain I'm in. Currently my pain level from a 0 to a 10 is a 0. I'm in, I'm in no type of pain. I don't have any symptoms. I'm probably sitting at um, my weight being, I want to say, 176 pounds. I think it's important to be uh, real with yourself, you know, during during times like these. Um, we're all human. We all experience pain. And uh, hopefully people can use this so it can help them if they're going through the same thing that I'm going through. And uh, I'm going to try to make this entertaining. You know, I want to show you what living with cancer is really like. You know, and to prove that, you know, you shouldn't let this limit yourself, I'm going to continue to keep doing the things that I love to do. So what I'm going to be filming is going to be my everyday life. Going to chemotherapy, going to doctor's appointments, um, how I'm feeling when I'm not at the doctor, what I do for fun, what I do for a living. I just hope that I can show people that might be scared of, you know, recently being diagnosed with this or have a loved one that's diagnosed with this, that you need to, um, you can't let this win. I'm gonna get up, you know, I'm gonna fight this one day at a time. Yeah, just, if you guys have any questions, just, uh, just let me know. So this is gonna be the only video that I post on social media. The rest will be on my YouTube channel. So wherever you see this video, click on the link below. Or if you're on my Instagram, yeah, go to my page and the link will be right there. Please like and share this video. And let's, let's go on this journey together.